مقابلة لبرنامج الباحثين السودانيين في محيط اعتصام القيادة العامة سقطت ما سقطت يشرفنا برضو انه الليلة معنا الاساتذه الملتزمين اللي بيحركوا نادي اللغة الانجليزية ان شاء الله حيبدو جلسة المخاطبة تفضل يا استاذ Thank you, Edgar Anwar. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, good evening. Good evening. And it's really great honor for me to be standing in front of you here this wonderful evening. And by you, the picture will be completed. Okay. Uh, as you know, daily we have uh, English club here. Uh, the previous topic were being discussed about uh, change, uh, freedom, justice, and peace. And today we are going to enlighten you about a counter, uh, controversial topic uh, that will be taking place on the coming days. And, uh, you know, like, those who are uh, outside, just come and sit here, so in order to join us. So our topic today is going to be about how to apply a successful strike. How to apply a successful strike. A strike means a stand-off. And a stand-off means what? Uh, you know, you have to stop from working, whether you are a teacher, employer, doctor, whatever. So you have to stop from work for one day, for, for, for three days, okay? So, like, stopping is not just staying at home, okay? You have to come uh, to the place where you work, and you have to resign for your present, and then you don't have to work till the day end, and then you have to take your paper out, okay? And when, whenever they ask you, you know, in order, why, why haven't you, okay, uh, fulfill your work? So you have to, uh, you know, tell them that it is uh, one of my right. I have to uh, make a strike and ha I have to make a standoff because this is one of my duty. And if they want to, you know, like, take you uh, to 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 uh, to the to the get, then you have to ask for your rights. Okay, this is will be the the topic of today. Uh, how to apply a successful strike, and then we will have uh, teachers. Okay, they are going to join us, and they will invite you too. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, first of all, good evening, everybody. Really, it is my honor, it is my privilege to stand in front of you uh, to speak about a very essential and discussable topic. But first of all, without entering deeply to the topic, what I would like to figure out for you that is, please share up. It is not a time for the teachers, it is not a time for showing off. Uh, you know, regardless of teachers, tell out and figure out the ideas of teachers. And put out the idea which you can create your mind by thinking that you are not qualified enough to stand in front of people in the stage so as to say something. What we would like for you just to share up because it is as a matter of practice. Practice your English language no more. Because without practice, you will not be an English speaker. One of the important things for English learner, it is a practice. Practice, it is a significant organ of English learner. And that's why I hope that all of you to participate. Um, the, the topic, as my brother mentioned, that's how to success. You know, the, the technique of success of uh, strike. And I think this, it is not only depends for employees or employer or for workers, but this, it is depends for all citizens. As we are citizens, it is our jobs. It is our, for example, responsibilities. So as to awareness all the people, if you are work or not. And uh, according to what we hear, that it is not to condition on your home. You should have to go to your, for example, the place where you work. And then you can prevent yourself from work, but you may exist in the time of work. So this, it needs awareness. It is not only it depends for workers. It is not only it depends for those employees or employers, but it depends for all citizens. So as to awareness all people, what is going on? And it is very important things that to share up our ideas and your ideas because together we are going to make a very great solution for what we are thinking for. Uh, thank you very much indeed. I will going to give my brother or my friends so as to tell you something about what you have. And you see, think more. 
to drink all the magics from teachers' heads, all the things that teachers mentions. Be careful and take and acquire what the knowledge and what the vocabulary that the teachers, you know, transmit from each other. And thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Ibuya, and I'm not a teacher. I came here by an accident. Um, I'm happy to be here with you guys. Uh, this is my first time to show up here. Uh, this is a very interesting topic. It's very important about to our future and to our country. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, today we have a very interesting topic. Uh, it's very important for our future and for our country. Uh, strike. So we need to educate the people. What is, what is a strike? What does that mean? Uh, strike means you go to work, sign the paper as the teacher said, and not to do anything until the time is off, and then you can go back home. And it's helped the revolution because you know we are in in, in a dangerous time in, in the history of our country. So um, we need to educate people first before we start the strike. Uh, we have some step we should follow to uh, to do a good and uh, to do a successful strike. Uh, we have uh, tools, we have many tools. We have the social media, we have uh, uh, people here. We have our people here, we can use papers to educate people in the street, in the market, during the day when you walk in the street. It's very important. And we need also um, people from uh, organizations uh, who know uh, a lot about strike to go to the public places and to announce uh, uh, a date together and talk about the topic uh, and it's very important and uh, we're gonna go to the social media section it's very very important this is our weapon we don't have guns we don't have uh, anything so we have only the social media because the media in this country for the government the media is uh, a big hole they use it against us. So we need to create our own media to fight back. And uh, this is a job for the young generation. Everyone here, we have a phone, we have an internet. So come on guys, let's use this and let's make this work. Thank you so much for your time. Um, thank you. All right, uh, evenings, ladies and gentlemen. In the name of the country, in the name of the marginalized ones, in the name of refugees in the camps everywhere, in the name of every Sudanese who face injustice and inequality from this aggressive and fascist system and regime, which you call it the NCP party or the Kizan whatsoever, I greet you with the greetings of the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, first, before we start, I would like you to understand two terms. We say civil, which is Madania. All of us, civil. 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 Energy, guys. Civil. Civil. Civil, civil. Madania, which means we don't need any any army or any militiamen to run our country. We run our country alone. Their job is to protect the borders only. That's why we are here. And everybody knows the purpose of our coming here today, which is very noble goal, which is very peaceful and civil. Silmia and Madania, right? So let's say peaceful and civil. Peaceful and civil. Civil and pacific. Which means we don't use any forces, any violence. Only love, respect, and honor, and our dignity. But when somebody puts his hands on us, we send them where? To the cemetery. Uh, however, we are not here to speak English only, not to practice English. We have idea. We have a notion. We have notion which needs promotion. Which means all of us, we need to stay together to raise awareness, to tell others, to show to the international media who we are and what our criteria it is. We don't only speak Arabic, we don't speak only rubbish. We speak everything, we do everything, we have ideas, we have identity. We would like to reflect what is going on on the ground here. Uh, therefore, everybody has to raise awareness. As Prophet says, it starts from what what she means to donate to do good things it starts from your own house you from your own house today before tomorrow you go and tell your mommy your daddy your brothers your sisters your friends your family members what's happening in the country and what they should do everybody has to go to work you sign all the work on the timesheet you sign in and you sign out you have the emblem you have the posters which are written 
a general strike, political strike, which means I'm here, but I don't want to work because I'm not convinced. And this is your right granted by the law as a citizen, as a free citizen. If you believe that you're a free citizen, you have the dignity, you have to go to work and to show them that you're not working. And if your boss is going to kick you out, let him kick you out because of your country, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's not living the life of slavery. When you go to work and you don't like to work, but you're forced to work, it's kind of modern slavery. When you're pushed to eat from hand to mouth, it's kind of slavery. That's why we're fighting this system. We want to have progress. We want to have development. We want to reach the glory of the country, of this nation. That's why we are fighting for this revolution. Even if we, are, we die all, but we will never give up. And it's going to be peaceful from the beginning till the end. Peaceful, peaceful, civil, civil. That's what we are doing today. And we are here today to share the ideas, to know your views, and to exchange, to understand, to clarify the, the vague or the things which are not clear, the ambiguity of the issues. So clarity is supposed to be shown and manifested in different manners. And we are going to help here by using language which could be comprehended. I'm pretty sure that everybody understands, if not from the language, from the body language. And everybody knows why he is here or she is here. And if you don't know why you're here, you're in dilemma, a real dilemma, believe me or not. So I'm going to pass the microphone to the other teachers and we are going to sit and we are going to have the club run. Okay. Uh, thank you guys, uh, and give Harsh Club for this statue. Give him Harsh Club. And also, welcome our guy here. He's uh, our teacher, always presents us uh, our teachers. Uh, he's really brilliant and so sophisticated. And he's among us here, Mr. Walid, okay? Thank him, give him Harsh Club. Well, while you were speaking, I didn't think that you are speaking about me, okay? <laughs> so, Salaam Alaikum. Good evening, everybody over here and the people who are watching us right now. As we declared that the, we're going to talk about the political strike, and we spoke yesterday, but we're going to continue speaking about the political strike to raise the awareness. So, how can we have or can we apply a successful political strike? So, this is the question should be answered today. We don't. Uh, I don't have many words to say. The words of yours. So this is the chance for you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, now the chance is yours. Okay. The, this, the chance is yours. So you have to raise uh, up your hand and then take your chance. Okay. Please. I got a question. Question. Uh, the question. Okay. How to. I got a question first. You mentioned that from your first speech that uh, to make our strike, the, system, <laughs> the doctor must stop from working, right? How about we having an accident or a car accident and somebody was injured? What are we going to do? He doesn't need uh, treatment. Okay, the question is like in emergency case, what we have to do when somebody, you know, like happened to have an accident or some something wrong takes place and somebody for example falls down breaks a leg or whatever it is so what we have to do this question is question to him like this yes okay it really can be simply answered okay in the uh, in the case of emergency so like there is a uh, emergency uh, staff or group are going to take the the place because you know like uh, so in the, in the term of emergency okay so like we we have uh, staff who are like uh, se selected to to be in this uh, group and they are capable of doing the rights and so like the the point is here uh, if we get emergency then uh, we never you know like mean that we are going to stop and we are going to having uh, having no teachers or doctors in order to uh, okay to handle the case but for sure we are having uh, doctors uh, who are going to, to handle the case because you know like this is emergency and if we never deal with it then it will be a problem for us i hope uh, i answered the, the the question uh your question i hope you, i answered your question then guys uh, so like it's not only a question for me but for you too and now the chance is for you okay the, the chance is for you 
Okay, welcome. Our question today is how to apply a successful strike. How to apply a successful strike. Um, okay, uh, thank you so much for giving me this uh, opportunity and I'm, I'm so glad for me to, to participate for the second time in this uh, fantastic uh, discussion. What I would like to say is um, before you stand and be in the strike or sit in, ask yourself a simple question. What about those people who lost their lives? Those people were with us. They are our brothers and friends. So you should think of them first. They are our brothers and they lost their life for the sake of improving Sudan. They want to live a better life. We are not better than them. And of course, um, they are now enjoying the life of, he of heaven, inshallah. So what I want you to think of, we are striking for them. We are striking firstly for the country. We are striking for the friends who lost their lives. And I'm, and I'm very worried about some people on Facebook. I saw it yesterday on Facebook and some social media. They were talking about, we don't want to participate in the strike because the government gave them some money. Do you understand what does it mean? If government gives some the employers money, they add extra money to them. What does that mean? Right. I would like this question for all of you guys. Right. Right. Yes, yes that's true. And what else? What else? Right. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Right. Bribes. Yes, they bribes. They give them money so that to cheat them, to cheat on them. Do you believe? Do you want money to give, government to give you like money for three months in order to, and you forget the martyrs, the martyrs, those, who, those who killed like few months ago and few days ago? Of course, no. So what I ask all of you guys, remember those who died because of us. Don't be selfish. Don't think only. Just I want to live a better life. Remember, the better life will be after this Sudan became better. And we don't want military-led government. We want civilian-led government, which will lead us to live a better and perfect life. Thank you so much. OK, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, welcome. The door is still open for you. Yeah, welcome. It is Come on. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, all of you. Thank you for this, guys. I think it's a very good thing to make creation for a routine and to enjoy those who are here. I think it's very good. Thing. Uh, the thing that I want to say in these days there is uh, many humans. humans. Like the uh, guy he said uh, some some uh, of uh, our partners they don't want to strike in these uh, coming days. This thing, I think, uh, there's some, some humors. Indeed, in this, uh, in this case. So, if anyone wants to, to, to know the truth and uh, to get the, 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 what, ha uh, what is going on, we have to, to touch, to touch the official, official <coughs> sites of uh, different bodies, you know? I think uh, uh, it is very good to, to touch the official sites of all the bodies who are... Uh, uh, we want to, 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 to get their... Uh, because there is many, many uh, thank you. That is what I want to say. I haven't heard from you. Listen. All right. Uh, Just give, give, give him a Any question? Another question from any person? Audience, questions, please. Anybody wants to participate? 
All right. Uh, let me elaborate on the issue of how to make the strike successful. Uh, as Mr. Mortez earlier mentioned that, if we want this strike to be successful and we want to have a civil government and civil system to our country, we need to remember that. Our revolution is not only for us. For the martyrs of previous months, as he mentioned, and for the martyrs of those who sacrificed for the country since the very beginning of this regime, since 1989. Millions of people died. We need to think of the refugees. We need to think of the displaced people. We need to think of those who were casualties of the war. We need to know how we can compensate them. Who is going to compensate them? We need to have all these ideas in mind. And we need to think for long-term goals. We need to think after 10 years, how our country would be like. Our, after 20 years, how our country would be like. What is we need to think of other nations, how they develop. We need to think of American Revolution, French Revolution. How did Chinese succeed? How did Japanese succeed? How German did develop and reach the glory of these nations as they are right now? Now everybody is dreaming to have Sudan great like America. And everybody is dreaming to have brighter future. Anybody wants to have a car, a house family, happy family. All right. All so right. if you were given three months salary and we were given incentives like five thousands or ten thousands, it's not anything. It's not even bribery. If you receive this money, you are considered to be a traitor for the country. And you are treason. This is a kind of treason. And you are a traitor and you deserve this penalty, not anything else. And therefore, anybody who is going to receive any kind of money, salaries, incentives for whatsoever from that militia man, I don't even like to call his name, he is supposed to be a traitor for our country and this kind of treason. And we will never forget this. And history shall remember. And we will never forget this. We don't want anybody to, to let this revolution to be stolen. We need to be away. So our revolution won't be stolen by anybody. They are playing counter-attack game now, right now, the regime. That's why we need to know what we have to do in order to progress, in order to let this succeed. And it's very near to succeed. We're about to succeed. So all of us, we say, civil and peaceful till we make it. Civil and peaceful. Civil and peaceful. Civil and peaceful till we make it. Civil and peaceful. So I'm going to pass the mic to Mr. Wally. Till we make it. Okay, once again. So what do we need to apply a successful strive okay what do we do so every person over here wants to apply yeah a political strike successfully what do you do yeah come over here welcome please give an arch clap hello everybody good, good evening good evening i'm so glad to to have opportunity for this uh, this day this evening so uh, we came here when we are came here we have uh, a lot of demand when our revolution is start we have a lot of things we have going to do but we want to say to the the people those who are, who called the transitional military council this revolution is not for those people this revolution is for all Sudanese people so these people, they believe that this revolution is belong to them. This revolution is not for the, a specific people. So we have a lot of tools to make our revolution a success. So in the coming days, we have political strike. So what do we do to be uh, this strike is going to be success? Strike is mean that uh, you, you go to the, the to the where but you don't work. Uh, there is a lot of people there. We go there and we t uh, to say to your manager say that today we are we we never we don't work today. Then also you have to anybody every every person and everybody in the street in the street or anywhere uh, they around the people and teach the people what the meaning of the strike. So by this way, we're going to make uh, this strike, this, uh, 
become success. So there is also some people, they uh, they don't have any jobs and they have no employees, but they work in the in the markets. So what wh what we are gonna stop those people uh, for this strike? So this those people we are uh, say to them to teach people at the strike to take papers and all these things uh, to to teach the people until we're gonna make our country greater than the other countries. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. As we are considered to be like uh, an educated level of society, a simple man, a man who depends on the, on the money of a daily basis, so he cannot live a day without work. So he simply can say to you that I can't let, let my family starve and die, right? Yeah. So in this case, what should a person do to convince him? And what people should compensate? Should people should do something for him in order to find money to save the life of his family and the life of his, uh, like, his himself? What people should do? I said well, for those people to, uh, to take the papers in their workers, in their work, to, uh, to teach and people, to teach people, but I'm talking about money. Yeah. If he one day he stops working, all of his family will die of stuff. Or yeah, I know that. I know it. But he also uh, gonna to uh, he gonna also to make different for this strike to uh, to make papers to make papers to teach the people in the street. Uh, I think I think that's. Um it's a good question, but we are, we are not talking about, uh, for example, marginalized workers. We're talking about companies, for example. But such as like uh, tea makers and those people that are walking in, in a round, for example, they, they practice their works, but they, we have to tell them that even to work with us, to, to make like a national campaign for awareness, for people around beside them, to tell them that today it is, it is it is uh, what so called strike for all companies. Those they may teach because this it is not only our responsibility. It is responsible for all citizens. We can together we can work. For example, uh, I think by this way we can we can go through the good strike and successful strike. But if we prevent them from their works, this is, will be uh, another cup of tea because they need money so as to feed their children. Thank you so much. I'm going to talk about the question that this guy asked. Uh, there is exceptional uh, part of the community. Uh, strike means you want to strike down the government. That means the societies, the companies, whatever had a relationship with the government. So other people, they can work freely because um, they live on basic on the daily earned money. Um, uh, there is other, other question about the hospitals. We have some emergency hospital. Uh, they work 24 hours in all kinds of situations. We talk about the private hospitals and, uh, and other kind of hospital. But we have some hospital who can deal with this kind of situation, uh, such in, 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 uh, in Umdurman, in Bahri, in Khartoum. So we have a uh, uh, solution for these kind of problems. And thank you. Okay, once again, what are the tools that we're going to use to make this strike successful? What tools do we need to use? Okay, welcome. What's your name? Please give Mr. Ibrahim a half clap. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of everyone here, I want to thank you, all of the teachers, for your time. It's appreciated. Uh, talking about uh, the strike, uh, I think I am an uh, engineer by profession, but I have a passion for uh, the marketing. One of the most important uh, tools for the marketing, I think uh, it's the verbal marketing. <laughs> so uh, I'm talking about the verbal marketing and uh, about the verbal marketing for the strike, inshallah, on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, so I think uh, 
when you talk to your friend about the strike uh, on Tuesday at Wednesday, I think you talk to one person, but this one person, I think he's going to talk to another person, and this another person as well is going to talk to another person. So they are going to make a huge uh, promotion for uh, this strike, uh, maybe on the neighborhood, uh, maybe uh, in their uh, village, if they are uh, from outside Khartoum. So uh, I believe it's uh, one of the most important tools, uh, the verbal marketing or the verbal talk about the strike itself. Uh, that's my uh, for today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Ibrahim. Do we have other do we have other tools that we can use? You have other tools? Other tools without I mean except talking. Okay. Yeah, I just talked about uh, the verbal marketing, but there is another uh, free tools like the social media accounts. I'm sure that everybody in here has uh, some account maybe on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, anything, you can use your own special uh, media because uh, I have a strong belief that there is no uh, media all over the world it's misguided uh, or they follow their uh, politicians' uh, goals. So maybe they're making fake news. So you are the reporter for your own country, for Sudan. So you're making, uh, you're making uh, your, your, uh, your own account, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, uh, to make also the, the promotion for this uh, strike on Tuesday and Wednesday, inshallah. Before you go again, once again. So, if you are uh, in the company and you are the minority, for example, the company consists of, for example, 40 members. You are only five, you're gonna apply this twice. What about the 35 people that they don't like to, to apply this twice? Are you gonna convince them? I think uh, I think the answer, uh, the key answer, uh, is uh, awareness. So our revolution, I think, it's a revolution of awareness, and they are afraid here because every single member of the Sudanese uh, nation, his uh, own uh, awareness is getting high with this revolution. So uh, we are going to strike on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, and inshallah, it's not going to be the first one because I do have a strong belief. There is no dictator who will rule, inshallah, in Sudan no more. Whether he is a military member or uh, maybe a civilian uh, president in the future. Because the amount of the awareness is very high since the first day of the revolution. So I think uh, if you uh, five, person, all, five people only uh, start the strike in the company, I think the next time the, the number will go uh, higher and they will get convinced uh, to participate as well. Thank you so much, Mr. Ibrahim. I'm gonna ask the same question for Mr. James over there. So, if in the company we have five people, just uh, they're gonna come uh, apply this why, and we have 35 people that do not want to apply this why, what we're gonna do? Uh, all right, as we know that majority do not decide what's wrong or what's right, but your consciousness does. You understand me, right? Yeah. The awareness does. Yes. So if 100 people are like walking one direction, and five are walking on the other direction, but you know that 100, those 100 are mistaken, while those five are right, then who are you going to follow? The five, of course, right? Yes. Even if it requires sacrifice, because the reward would be very fruitful. You'll be appreciated. You are going to do something for the country, for the nation. Even if you are going to be dismissed or discontinued from the work itself, it's not a big deal. Because your livelihood is not about the boss. It is your competence, your qualification, and the blessing by the Lord. When the Lord blesses you by his blessings and you have the qualifications to work, you'll find the job. And the job will be done. That's why 35 do not decide what's wrong or what's right. We five who can make that one. And we need to believe that. That's my point of view. Thank you, teacher, very much. And still the question is remaining. Okay, how we can apply a successful strike? How we can apply successful strike? Chances are open. Okay, here. Yeah, time is important. 
Is one of God's gracious beneficent prayer and peace for the Muhammad Prophet of God. Peace and blessing be upon to him as well as and his companions. Uh, hello, good evening. Coming from the God to grant you health and happiness and peace, asking God to bring your life and realize your ambition. Hello, all of you. Welcome to English Club. How to prove our language from randomly to fluently. Today, I'm so happy or pleased to see myself standing with you to discuss about one of the sweetest topic which is under the title uh, how to apply this trick to all of you know that uh, the problems or what's going on in Sudan is uh, during the uh, of the from the 6th of April to now we have used it, uh, different employment in order to success our in order to success our uh, our uh, goals in order to success our goals so that uh, we have used it, uh, different kind of a uh, uh, trace or basis or so that in order to arrive for what we are going to do. Uh, but uh, we have used it, uh, uh, the civil protesting, but we are, we are still up, up in front of us uh, a lot of things to do. So that, uh, the first thing that I would like to, uh, to, to add or I would like to say about the strike or the civil disobedience, civil disobedience, that means uh, strike. So this, uh, first of all, we have to awaken the people. That means to spread the awareness among the community. You have to go to your uh, farm, your, your mom and dad, and all the, your neighbors. Uh, tell them about that we have the, uh, the good things and successful things. It's called strike or civil obedience. So civil disobedience. Uh, people must uh, go to work, and they they have or they should have to use a paper just like as I have. And then there must be a uh, written uh, something. So I have to, I shall give you my uh, suggestion. Yes, there must be no work, uh, no work in military government. No work in military government. But, uh, and also the, the civil disobedience shape strong trust for the MTC or, uh, or TMCS, okay? Uh, transitional military government that, that will, will uh, suffer more from this, I'm sure. Uh, the other things also we have to use, uh, people uh, must uh, try to use or try to deal with this uh, strike by uh, full awareness. For instance, uh, people must go with their uh, uh, nutrition, such as foods and water. And I, I can hear all the, even the restaurants must be shot. Restaurants must be shot. And uh, the cafe and every, uh, all the places must be kept because the, uh, the military council the more the, the medical cancer workers they are depending for their nutrition and all things from the market so that this is a good uh, things a good weapons we have to use it a good weapons we have to use it in order to trust for the military uh, transition or TMD. Uh, so and also things that also I would like to send uh, I would like to send a message for the soldiers or the military themselves they also they must to strength they must strike. Why? Because also they are a part of uh, the T and T. So for stance, for stance, if all the soldiers were in civil disobedience, who will go to work? Even the ghost police, you know, the ghost police must be strict. Who will uh, try to use the, the, the things which will happen? I think this, uh, I can describe that this is uh, a good and uh, the, the successful step for the Sudanese people to use it in order to arrive for the goals. Uh, so that I hope uh, for all guys or for all this, my, uh, my ambition for all people and for all Sudanese uh, nations must be in the one hand and there must be unity in order to do what they are going to do. Thank you very much. It's uh, very kind of you to give me this uh, opportunity and so that uh, the time is not enough for me to go. But I, shall, I, I would like to give a chance uh, for uh, any uh, interpreters or if there's any criticism or uh, questions. You are welcome, all audience. If you have a question, say, is there anyone have a question? Okay, you're welcome. Is there a difference between uh, civil disobedience and uh, political strike? No, that's uh, there's no difference, no uh, any variation between two words. Two words are meaning the same. The civil disobedience means that to stop, uh, stop or turn off of the world. That the people, the people who are going to stop on the world, so that this is called the the civil disobedience. They are the same meaning. They are the same meaning. Am I right, teachers? 
<laughs> they are driven by it. <laughs> okay, I think you're not right. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, there is a difference between civil disobedience and uh, general strike or the political strike. I think Mr. American over there is having something to say. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give him a harsh love. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, uh, I have a question from Mr. James here. I think it's more than three questions. First, first, the first question is, uh, now I understood what does it mean strike. Allah Azim. And this is a good thing about the clubs and that's why I go to the, such places, the English clubs, better than lectures. So I understood what does it mean strike when I get into uh, this, to, 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 to the the area and I was wondering about what does it mean and now I understood but I have some questions first of them uh, we know that I want to understand what does what what is the difference between this the, the, the strike in the governmental sector and the private sector and how could we apply it uh, and you know that most of the Sudanese are, are not participating in the governmental sector and most of the jobs that being dominated by that people Kazan, and you know that the loyalty of them is the most. How can we just reach there and let them convince them that to be with us in this strike? The fourth or the third question, the third question is: so the difference between when you say that the strike inside the company, you make segregation, you make separation and uh, you make the employees that are not working as, as, as one hand and you know that the importance of the, 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 the oneness of the employees inside the company or the, inside the firm so you make separation between them some people will participate, others will not after, the, after Tuesday, many people will be separated and you know that the, this could be dilemma uh, Mr. Jehi be, before just mentioned the people will not, who won't participate with us in this uh, strike what will be accounted about what they have done and the penalties will take a place so our sentence was clear to say justice and freedom and peace if we penalize them uh, we do not apply the, 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 the word which is saying that peace which is silmiya we didn't give them the freedom of choosing the rights, although they are part of us. I don't want to take long. I need just answer for these simple questions. Thank you. All right, all right. The questions were uh, for me. Uh, however, we need to understand that why we strike. When you go on a strike, it means you want to stop the country from the cash flow, from the revenue. You want to deactivate the country. You want the state to shrink. He want the government not to have the ability to control the economy. He want that to destabilize the system itself. That's why we strike. We strike because we are here to tell them that you will never ever control us. We will stop working and you will leave us alone. So it's our right. This is it's a strike. And civil disobedience, it means what? To disobey the orders, it means to stay at home. All the people, they stay at home, at their houses inside your house or at the door of your house, you stay there with your family, you don't, like, you don't do anything, you don't exert any kind of activity, you just stay there. We know that, the difference between them. But when we say general strike, it means you go to work, you sign on the timesheet, you know that you have to go to work, but you don't work. You don't contribute in any kind of production or productivity. That's the difference between general strike and civil disobedience. I guess it's very clear, right? Although I speak sometimes so, like, somehow fast. And the second, second thing is like, uh, what you mentioned the second question? Uh, it's segregation in the, in the companies and so on. Uh, this kind of nepotism, like when you employ someone who is not qualified, like your family members or your friend, we call it comic, uh, nepotism and it's kind of corruption. But it's about, you, you, I guess you, you meant like, when some people they go on a strike and others they don't go to, uh, on a strike. Uh, when others they don't go on a strike, it, it's not your business. 
but you have to know that it's your duty to go on a strike. And you, it's your duty to tell your co-workers that we have to go on a strike because it is national duty. Our country is calling us to go on a strike. For the sake of the country, for the sake of all the reasons, all the reasonable reasons we mentioned pre uh, previously, we don't need to go back and call them again. This is what we have to do. And everybody has to understand this. Last question, right? That's all? Okay, any question? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and you know, the, the chances are still open for you because you know, like we are not here to speak. We are here just to organize the, okay, the environment for you to speak. So the, the, the question has been, which has been uh, asked by my friend here, also you have a chance to reply for it, okay? And we are running out of time, just raise up your hand and just take your chance. Okay guys, um, I want to talk about a very important tool in, in order to do a, a successful strike. Uh, the tool is communication. Uh, co communication between the community is very important, you know, to raise awareness between people. We, some, we have, uh, in Randog, we have something called uh, Shamar, or Shamarumito. So let's make the strike as our Shamar for the next uh, three months. Uh, in order to uh, do a su successful strike, I mean, um, when you know, when you speak to someone or to a person to, to raise his awareness and to convince him to do the strike, you have to um, holler at the people who already did the strike. Talk about Fulan, yo, this guy is dope. Okay, so this thing is gonna be, uh, to, it's gonna rise the competitive between the members in the community and also uh, teach, you know teach other person the good thing about the strike and the bad thing that's going to happen if we did not do a uh, successful strike. I mean that in order to, I mean, uh, you have some uh, big problem going to us. We, uh, we are now uh, a terrorist country as you know because of the former president and we're going to face the same thing if we did not change the country. If the government, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, if this government take over the, 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 the country, we're gonna face another uh, economical ban from the uh, African Union. They announce it, and we're gonna face more uh, economical problems. And uh, we also we need to uh, aware the aware the people about these issues because we really need to change. We really to need to contact the the globe, contact with the continent, and also we need to set up uh, set up a, a government that uh, who able to contact with the rest of the world. We don't want problems, you know. Uh, I really like, I see that people talk on social media a lot about Iran and things that are going on in the Middle East. This is not our business. Come on, guys. We, 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 have a lot, we have a lot of important things to talk about. So let's change the subject. And let's, we all here, let's uh, talk about the strike in social media, and even in, in your hood, even in your, even, even you eat with your family, with your friends. And let's make it something, you know, uh, a trend, as a trend on social media, because we don't have media, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I would love to stay longer, but you know, I have to go back because I have an important thing to do. I will be there tomorrow. Thank you so much, guy. I'm happy. Okay. You have a question? Okay, come on. Okay, hello for the second time. I, came, uh, I would like to ask, I give you a question because you said that you would like to go, but that's why. Uh, so, uh, you have to discuss more about the uh, strike and uh, the. the and the rule of the, uh, the strength. But I'd like to give you a question before you're going. Uh, what shall we do if, the, if our strength was not success? Just give us this question and you're welcome. If, uh, if this strike is not successful, we're going to continue protesting and we're going to continue. We're going to prepare for another strike. We're not going to just run. Uh, we're going to keep fighting until the end, you know? That's the answer. Thank you so much. I like the, the word, the new word. We're going to add a new word for the English dictionary, which is chamarism, okay? Uh, yeah. So we're going to spread, okay, the news, okay? 
So Somalis means a news. What is new? Okay. So the news it means like spreading the news. This is Shamarism, okay? We're gonna be Shamarist, right? So that's it about this. Shamarumita. Shamarumita. Yeah, nice word. <laughs> okay. Uh, the last chance because time is over. The last chance. Yeah. One, two, three. We have three people and we have three minutes, okay? Yeah. First. <laughs> okay, come, come on. Okay, Musa. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, thank you for the second time. Uh, I think uh, I want to start from uh, the tools to make our uh, strike success. The thing that I uh, noticed in 6 April, people uh, write uh, walls and houses and uh, it has made a very good effect. In any way you can see 6 April, 6 April from the walls. I think that uh, was a very good thing which made our uh, revolution to exist in that point of time. So also I want to say uh, this, for this uh, strike to be success, we have to write on walls for a strike and uh, make uh, posters, papers to stick on the walls and uh, talk about the sacrifices for those who lost their lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions which has been mentioned here before. Uh, my friends just left ours. It, it, it just spoke about Iran and those things. Uh, bro, it's very important for us to know that because there is a people who are going to create problems for us over there. <laughs> so we need to know. In the previous um, years or previous government, the government is creating for us problems. Sanctions and all those things is made by our leaders, right? Which here we are not giving them the authorities to, 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 to create such kind of problem. So that's very important for us also to mention. Okay, about the strike, what's the next after a strike? Uh, for me, I can, I can think that um, uh, this strike is going to affect on the government. How much money do we have right now? Our government, they know how much amount of money do we have right now? I think no one knows this. So and they don't care if this gets success or get not success. I think they don't bother about this. So they kill us on the street. I think there's no worse things than this. So they don't bother about this this kind of things. And I think I think our talent is working. The roadblocks is much efficient. I think. And I wanted to ask something also, as you say that right now, and you mentioned in the question that if there is a 40 members or 40 employees in my company, 35 of them are not on a strike, and we are five. I can tell you that most of the big or reputed companies uh, are at least they are well educated people. You may find a PhD holder who is going to be in the, in the strike, right? So those kind of people like. I can't convince them and I cannot speak to them that uh, come with us in this. Because when this demonstration started on 19th, uh, December 19th, our population, total population in Sudan is I think approximately 40 million, right? So how many of us on the street that time? We are not really, we, ha we haven't reached million in the street, right? So all of them right now, they are following us. The 39 million right now, they are saying we are in the revolution. So we believe, we believe that when the things started, they must follow us. That's what I've said. Thank you so much, Mr. Ahmed. Okay, uh, very enthusiastic. He said that the only solution building blocks or barricades, right? So this is the only tool to work, right? That's it. We have two chances. 
have, I have, okay. uh, I have additions. Uh, one? I have additions. The second. I have additions. Yeah, okay, okay. for example, uh, what I would like to say that uh, we should have to be so spontaneous and at the same time to be very confident. Uh, because uh, as the, my brother mentioned that we should have to remember those whom they are past their life. Because they are past their life, they, they depend for our rights. They are not past their life overseas. But what I would like to mention is that those whom they are so afraid, and some of them, they get the money under the tables. I think they are cowards and they are so selfish. And some of these people, they are not cowards anymore. So I think this, uh, what so called is cry, it will be success, no doubt. Because all Sudanese, they are well awareness people right now. And that is why we, 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 we know that these things, it will be success, and we should have to think for the next things or uh, coming things. I believe that it will be successful. Thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. I have a question for you. It's about how you, if you work in service institution like bank or agencies uh, during the strike day uh, some customers come to you and try to force you to do some so procedures to him or to provide service to him how you can convince him how to deal with him with, uh, uh, some person will be bad tempered and try to force you by force to do this Okay, no one is gonna force me. Okay, no one. I'm gonna say no, and it's easy to say no because we are on a strike. So that's it. Okay, this is the first thing. The second question is. Okay, so we're gonna uh, convince them by saying if we apply or we go on a strike, we're gonna pray the military council. If we didn't do. We're gonna let them do the thing that they do now, okay? So, we go on a strike to press them. And there's something important for us, to press them, to transmit the government for the civilians. That's it. If they are convinced, that will be good. If they're not, chance, we're gonna go on a strike again. The last chance. Okay, because we are time. We are over. Assalamu alaikum. It's, it's let us to convince ourselves we are living in very um, retirement community, but we feel that they're open-minded. And what I listened to, I received some news. Saudi al Mahdi is, is totally rejecting this, and I was shocked and surprised, as if he's going to tell him that he's part of this new generation. And ladies and gentlemen, I've never doubted your capacity. What you did is amazing, and you are going to do more than this amazing, of course. We suppose not to doubt, and things is going to be fruitful, just for time, time. And I know, uh, we have to know that even there is no government to fear for, and that's why people are speaking about government, 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 maybe you can fire you, but there is no government we have to know. We are independent to do our best. And of course, we will defeat indirect or indirect is going to achieve. And we are no longer going to be sorry. And our food is ready to eat with all students. Thank you. OK, before we sum up. All right, uh, we do not deny the fact that Sadiq al-Mahdi is a leader of followers. Yes, yes. But the point is, he is outdated. He is expired. His ideas are not functioning anymore. We as a new generation, we are going to work together toward the future, all of us. So we will never stop. We will never give up. We will never give up. We don't like any TMC, any political party. One Sudan, one nation, civil, peaceful. Zazi. Thank you, bro. Okay, thank you, thank you so much tomorrow, tomorrow, okay. Freedom, peace and justice. 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 Just for that is all. 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 As we say always here, as Abraham Lincoln once said, the world will let him know, no longer remember. 
what we say here, but he can never forget what we did here. That these days shall not have died in vain. That this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth tomorrow at the same time. Thank you so much. <laughs>